Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Papa Tom. I'm a part of Yiching's life. Uh, thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Uh, if you haven't, please hit that notification bell so you can uh, be notified when I put a new video up. Um, my channel is a little different than Yiching's life. Mine is more <clears throat> uh, dad isms, you know, things from the dad to his kids how dads get through life, <clears throat> what dads do, that kind of stuff. Um, it's also a place where I'm kind of sharing my 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 slow journey to learn some Bisaya, uh, my wife's dialect, to try to be able to speak a little bit better um, when, they're, when her and her friends are talking. So guys, um, first thing today I want to do is I want to give some advice. Okay, this is free advice from Papa Tom. Um, it's advice for my kids. But you, you know, you might know someone that could use it, or maybe you want to hear it too. I don't know. But my kids, I like to share things with them as I go through life. Um, advice for them so they don't make the same mistakes I make, so that they, they can become good people, um, you know, be respectable adults, be, you know, be mature, be, you know, be able to get through life without making as many mistakes as I've made. So here, here's the big thing. Kids, if you're watching this, and those of you that aren't, life will never be easy. Remember those words. Life will never, never be easy. I don't care if you're rich, if you're poor, if you're good looking, or if you're ugly. Uh, life will never be easy. It will always be hard. Just understand that and accept that. Always will be hard. Okay? But you can choose your hard. Okay, so what do I mean by that? I mean, you're, you're going to have two options. They're both going to be hard, but you need to choose your hard and then work yourself through life. Okay, um, choose wisely. All right, I've made mistakes. I've made the wrong choices. I've made some of the right choices. So the earlier that you understand that life is always hard, but you can choose your hard, um, the better off you'll be. So some examples. Marriage. Marriage is hard. Ask anybody that's been married. Marriage is hard. Ask them. Ask your parents. You may not see it, but marriage is hard. It's hard for two people to build a home. I mean, it's hard to be married, you know, to always be nice, loving, whatever. It, marriage is hard. But you know what else is hard? Divorce. Divorce is hard. Divorce is hard. You may think, oh, you divorced. The hard part's over. No, it carries on, especially if you have kids. So divorce is hard. So see, guys, here's a here's a life decision spot. Choose your hard. Don't give up on one hard because you're going to have the other hard by default, right? So if marriage is hard, but you like being married, then choose that hard. Because trust me, divorce is hard too, just in a different way. So choose wisely. Choose your hard. Um... Obesity. Obesity is hard, right? It's hard being overweight. Um, being fit, trying to be in shape. You know, people that want to exercise and go running and, and not be out of breath, that's hard too. Um, choose your hard. Well, it's going to be hard either way. It's going to be hard to get through life if you're obese, but it's also going to be hard if you need to, if you want to exercise and start running and get in shape. They're both hard. Trust me, they're both hard. So pick your hard. Choose wisely. Pick your hard. Neither one's going to be an easy path. Life is not easy. Um, I saw these in a book I was reading once, by the way, guys. So I don't think I'm plagiarizing it from a particular person. It was more of a just a, a motivational kind of book, and it really resonated with me. So um, communicating is hard. Talking to people is hard. Communication is is hard. Sometimes people don't know what to say or they feel uncomfortable or it's not easy to say things. Um, not communicating is hard. Avoiding someone, not commun that's hard too. Choose your hard, right? Just choose wisely, but choose your hard. Um, so again, guys, just always remember this. Life is ne will never be easy. I don't care who you are, where you live, what you do. Life will never be easy. It will always be hard, okay? So once you understand that, now you can start to choose which hard you want to have in your life because we all have things that are hard, okay? So 
but you can choose your hard. That's that's the great thing about being humans is we we can choose which hards we want to you know have in our life. So choose wisely, boys and Isabella. Choose wisely. That's been your motivational pep talk from Papa Tom today. Uh, so next up on my agenda is my Bisaya word of the day, guys. <sighs> The, I think this is beside, so guys, I, I appreciate all you guys commenting down below and I don't pronounce the words right. That helps a lot. Um, sometimes the word I get is actually Tagalog instead of Basaya, even though it's supposed, I'm looking at a Basaya site. So sometimes it's confusing to me because I don't know the difference because these words are new to me. So thank you for letting me know. If so, I guess I'm learning a combination of Tagalog and Basaya, even though I'm trying to just learn Basaya. Um, so for those of you that don't know, there's there's two dialects, primary dialects that are spoken in the Philippines, Tagalog and Visaya or Visaya. Um, and sometimes I've come across people in the Philippines that only speak one or the other dialect and they don't understand what the other Filipino is saying. It's a weird concept. It's like America having two languages. Well, I guess we do have multiple languages. English is the primary, but there's every other language spoken here. But anyway, guys, so today's word of the day is Payong. And I believe that means umbrella. Payong. Umbrella. Payong. P-A-Y-O-N-G. Payong. Payong. So here's a joke. Okay, these are my favorite parts, okay? Learning the word with a joke. And I'm not going to lie, guys. I don't always memorize these words and remember them. But when I hear them being said, it triggers. I'm like, oh, wait, I know that word. What? Was, wait, I used that word. That was one of my words. And then I have to think about it. And then sometimes it comes to me. I'm like, oh, yeah, that was monkey. Uh, I Ching said something last night and she said monkey. I forget the word now, but I was like, oh, I remember that word. So that's kind of my, how I'm working. It's, it's a slow process. So umbrella, payong. Here's a joke. You can use it too. Why does Snoop Dogg, you know, Snoop Dogg, right? Eastside. Snoop Dogg. Why does Snoop Dogg carry a payong? Why does Snoop Dogg carry a pyong? Fo drizzle, my nizzle, shizzle, whizzle, fo drizzle. Get it? Drizzle is the rain. <laughs> it's coming down, right? I love Snoop Dogg. <clears throat> the D-O-double-G. Snoop Doggy Dog. Um, whatever he used to go by. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting the subscribe button. Hey, Boom. guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I'm Papa Tom. We have, if you can see that, our air con is not working properly. It's set for 73 in the house. It's up to 81 degrees. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix that or how I'm going to try to fix it. So by checking, checking two places inside the garage is where the air conditioner unit is. Let me show you right here. So that's your air conditioning unit. I can hear it running. And inside the house, there is air coming out of the vents, but let me show you. Outside where your, your compressor and your, your fan are, you can see it's not running. The fan's not moving, so it's not unit, it's not running. So I noticed some water on the floor in the garage and what that tells me is the drain from the garage unit that goes outside is clogged. So I'm going to take you with me and I'm going to try to unclog it. All right guys? Okay guys, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so this is something you can look at too if your air conditioner stops working. If you hear it running but you don't feel the cool air coming out and it's getting really warm in your house. So if you can see this, so this is this PVC pipe. This is where the water comes out of the air conditioning unit. It comes through this PVC pipe and you see this clear spot. What I'm going to do is I think there's a clog somewhere between here and outside. So I'm going to show you what the outside, what I'm talking about. We're going to try to clear that and see if that fixes our problem before we call someone to come out and fix it. So. If you can see down here, th that's where this pipe comes up from the garage. So this is the same pipe that goes from the garage unit outside where it should be draining. But it's not draining. There's no water coming out. So that may have shut the thing down out here. 
So we're gonna try to unclog that. There's usually debris, dust, well not dust, but like just gunky, muddy stuff. So how we're gonna do that is, I don't have a, a wet vac or a shop vac. So we need to somehow blow through the pipe to push, we need to push the debris out. I don't have a shop vac, which I could hook up and turn on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unhook that clear piece and I'm gonna bring the hose, the water hose in, and I'm gonna hook that on so that I'm gonna turn the water on and hopefully that'll run the water, will push the degunk out of the pipe. And then I should be able to turn it back on and the thing would work. So that's what we're gonna to try to do. If that doesn't work, if that doesn't work, then we may have to have someone come out and take a look at it, so. So what I'm gonna do is, you see these two clamps on here? So at the top one, I'm gonna take that clamp off and then I'm gonna put the hose in here and I'll show you, I'm gonna, then I'm gonna turn the hose on, it's gonna blow the water through there, so. Let's see, where's a good angle? Okay, guys. All right. Let's see here. Okay. okay guys, so I've got the water hose and outside here. and Bella's, Bella's my assistant. So okay, I'm gonna put the hose in the pipe and I'm gonna turn the water on and hopefully this will blow the, the debris that's blocking it from working out. So I'm gonna tighten this up. I don't want to have a mess in here any more than I already have. Okay, let's go, sweetie pie, banana bird pants. Okay. 
Okay, Julian, come here. You're going to stand right here. Ella, you're going to come over here by the water hose. You stand here. When I say off, I want her, you to tell Bella to turn it off. You don't say anything unless you hear me say off, off, off. And then you say off, 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 okay? I don't know, buddy. All right, guys, so it's coming out the other end. So I don't know if I flushed it good enough or not. So we're gonna let the water subside. We're gonna hook it back up and then turn the AC back on inside the house. Yep. Turn it back on. And why do we have to do that? Okay. Can you carry this to the driveway and just leave it there? Alright guys, moment of truth. Let's go see if we got it. Yeah, we're at Walmart. Need a wet vac to finish the job. So, got a wet vac. Alright right. guys, so the, the hose pushing the water out wasn't the problem, but, it, but it's actually the problem is the clog is higher up than where I was blowing it out. So what I've done is I poured bleach in. I'm gonna show you where I poured some bleach to try to dissolve some of the gunk, but I need to get a wet vac, a vacuum, so I can suck the water and the gunk hopefully out of there um, because that's where the clog is. It's at the top of the unit. So just leaving Walmart now, I, did, I had to go buy a, a wet vac. I didn't have one. I thought I had one. Uh, so anyways, I got a wet vac. Or we're gonna go back to the garage and uh, hopefully the bleach may have broken through, but if it hasn't, um, then we're gonna Put this wet back and see if we can suck that gunk out and uh, hopefully get this bad boy running again so all right guys so the uh what i'm going to do now is the clog is not in the the line going outside so there's two things that we check so you see this it says it's a safety switch you'll see this on top with two wires going into it you can wiggle it and then lift it out and if you can see down inside there I can see some water standing in there. So I'm gonna leave that out. That's where I poured the bleach. So I poured bleach in there to let it go inside and try to break it down. This one also pops out, you can take it out. And that's where the, uh, I don't know if you can see the gunk in there. See, there's some gunk in there. So what we're gonna do now is I've got the wet vac. And we're going to try to suction that gunk out and see if,
one eternity later. Okay, guys, we're gonna get a high five from the cheer team here because Daddy has quite possibly fixed the air conditioner. I feel cool air coming again. So it's at 82 degrees. So we're gonna see that's at 82 degrees. So we're gonna see if we can get the temperature back down into the mid 70s before I'm gonna call it a success. Thanks.